Hello everyone. Thank you for watching my videos. Today, you're going to be listening at one of their talks from the Kingdom Halls. Talk about how real Jehovah is. And talk about people worshiping the devil. And no one's going to admit there's worshiping Satan the devil. Now we know Satanism, that type of religion, they admit they worship Satan, but they don't put it out in public. Well, I'm going to put it out in public on YouTube channel. Me and other as Jehovah Witnesses that was in this religion of Jehovah Witnesses, we was worshiping Satan and we did not know we was worshiping him. So, Watchtower, yeah, I am kind of pissed that you made me worship a false god and finding out this false god or your governed body is pretending to be Jehovah. That's the reason why we found all the lies, dishonest, moving dates around, shuffling numbers around because you been lying to us? So, is your God Satan the devil? Or is your God the governed body? Who is Jehovah? Satan or Jehovah? And you want to know why we're not going back to Jehovah's organization? Because we came to our senses and have no reason to repent to your false God Jehovah because he's not even real. If I need to repent, I will talk to my Lord, my Christ, and I'll pray to him my mediator. I don't need to go to the elders to repent so they can put me on public reproof or just fellowship me. Christ is my mediator. So I'm going to play this this talk and we will see why People like me left the organization because of these men, these men making us believe they are Jehovah and they're worshiping Satan, the devil. Because they're the ones saying that we have to worship Jehovah, we have to pray to Jehovah, we have to do this for Jehovah. And actually, everything we do is for these seven men. Because Jehovah does not even exist. John 4.24 says, Jehovah has a spiritual body. He has no and body. 1 Kings 8.43 says, His dwelling place is in the heaven. Nope, so his is on earth with, person, with Satan the devil. Jehovah is the real God. Now why is Jehovah the one that we should want to worship? Let's look at Revelation. You're right, Jehovah. It's just, you are worshiping Satan the devil under Jehovah's name. Revelation 4 11 says, You are worthy, Jehovah, our God, to receive the glory, the honor, the power, because you created all things, and because of your will, they came into existence and were created. That's the only, only God who can rightfully say, that created all things. No other, no other thing that's worshipped can rightly be 
can rightly hold that uh, distinction. So, second time, the second time I asked this question is, who is your God? Jehovah's Witnesses, Satan the devil. No, 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 no. Satan the devil won't Jehovah Witnesses and some people worship this false god. Satan don't want people to to um stop worshiping this Jehovah. He wants everybody to worship this Jehovah. He wants the whole entire world to pray to this Jehovah and worship the Jehovah. You know why? Because all the glory and honor will be going to Satan the devil. Evidence prove. I tell you what the evidence is. The evidence is in Watchtower's back publications, Judge Rutherford's Rainbow Collection of books, Harp of God, Salvation, Millions Now Live and Never Die, um, Charles T. Russell's books about. 1914 was the end of the world. Uh, several books of, about 1975, the world was going to end. And our f favorite ones that I remember, placing magazines, showing that people on this magazine will not die. They had a guarantee on that magazine, they will not die. So what more facts do I need to show that I was worshiping Satan the devil in Jehovah Witnesses' religion? People, I'm not going to sit here and say and blaspheme my God and my Christ so I would have everlasting life, so I won't have true peace. No, I wouldn't. But I have studied your God. I have studied your false Christ that you call him Michael, the archangel. And the Bible does not say he is Michael. And which I did find 
Charles T. Russell's first magazine, Watchtower, saying that all the angels, including Michael and Gabriel, will bow down or kneel down to Christ. So, if Charles T. Russell recognized Michael was separate from G Charles C. Russell recognized Christ was separate from Michael. And later down the line, Judge Rockford changed all of that. Then you're worshiping a false Christ and you're worshiping a, a piece of paper, just a name on it, that was vented by the Catholic religion. You claim you're separated from all the religions. All the religions! You do not teach anything about false religion in your doctrines, but you keep this name Jehovah from the Catholic religion. Why is that Jehovah Witnesses? Or why is that governed body? Why do you keep a Catholic teaching of a false name that the Catholics will not use anymore because they found out their mistake of using this name they vented by their own monk. So, am I going to return to Jehovah's religion? No. Will there be everlasting benefits? Yes. Death. Anyone that's following Satan the devil and his false gods, the everlasting benefit will be death. Did I come to my senses? Yes, I came to my senses to come out of this stupid religion that's a cult. Have I repented? Yes, I have repented because I'm not going back to this organization claiming to be the true religion. So, is it their hope for such ones like me to come back? No. I will not return back just like a dog returning back to his own vomit. There's so much puke and disgusting stuff that came out of me that is worse than anything you can imagine. You think I'm going to go back, eat the lies, every lie that the Watchtower has made, the saying is called, it's the truth? No, I will not. But I will share your lies to the world. I will share your false God to everyone that watches my videos. I will share your dishonest in your publications. Do I hate you, Jehovah Witnesses? No. I am anger at these men that's keeping the truth from you and from me in the past. They know we're, we are worshiping a false god. They know the history of Rutherford, Charles T. Russell, Nathan Knorr. They, they know all of their past failures. And you think these are God's chosen men because they take one scripture and apply it to themselves. Heck, any religion could apply that scripture to themselves. The Catholics could apply it. Actually, the Pope could apply that scripture to himself. The Mormons could apply that scripture to themselves. Any religion can. Wake up before these men really put you to your grave, and you are serving your false god. Satan the devil pretending to be Jehovah by these ignorant men. Thank you, and have a nice day.